what is up internet um so yeah this is going to be i guess the first video of the series and it's going to be a walk around of the evo here she is in all her glory first things first as you can probably see is that she is in fact wrapped this is not a dip this is from avery dennison i forget what the color is i think it's like um satin pearl yellow blue which just means i guess uh satin blue baby pearl baby blue pearl or whatnot either way as you can see uh she is wingless i have the second trunk in my garage with the spoiler on it still so whenever i feel the need to put on the spoiler that's pretty much what i do i just spend the, uh, five minutes swapping it out and she's good to go uh, visually, aside from the wrap, I painted the side mirrors satin black. Actually, these are more of a matte black now. Same thing with the vortex generator on the top. The vortex generator is also matte black. And the wheels are just plasti dipped. I tend to fluctuate between colors on it, so why not make it plasti dip instead of powder coating for now? Eventually, I will powder coat them. I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll just upgrade to a different set of wheels altogether. But I like the look. It kind of... It works very well, to be honest. The color really pops in the sunlight. And then once it's, you're in the shade, it turns a nice dark bluish color, which is kind of cool. Same thing with the front lip on the front. I also painted that black. And yeah, visually, that's pretty much it. Jesus, there's broken glass everywhere. Um, got the carbon fiber side splats on the side. Those are from Rex Speed. Um, I've had the sticker on, on the car for a couple of years now. It's from AG Autosports. They're over in uh, Davie area. They've done us some work on the car. Nothing, nothing major really. They've worked on the rear end for me. And yeah, that's about it on that. Here we go. So let's go into the trunk first and foremost. If you've seen one of my previous videos, this should be something you've seen. So, I relocated the battery to the boot of the car. She's in there, solid as can be, does not move a single millimeter. That helps alleviate the, the, the weight on the front end of the car. It also helps with the spacing of the actual, of everything up front as you will see once I pop this. So let me see if I can do this with one hand. Uh, here we go. And boom. So here we have the engine itself. Excuse the dirt, it's been raining really nasty up here these last couple of days and yeah so right now we are on the stock turbo I upgraded the intercooler piping to engine but when I noticed later on down the line is that the battery was really close up against these pipes and as you can see it was rubbing rather nasty right there so one day I decided oh let me get the Evo 10 parts and I got the distribution box relocated to the the front up here and through the battery in the back and that helps alleviate a lot of space so down the line once I, I actually upgrade the turbo and everything else I'm going to change it out the intercooler piping put in something a little a little thicker change out the throttle body and go short route so the piping will go straight down this way rather than across and then down and then across again and then down again and I'm still on the mass airflow sensor that's actually probably going to be one of the next changes I do to the Evo. I'm going to switch over to speed density and probably E85 because right now I'm still on pump gas. So I'm rather limited also on the injectors because I'm running the stock injectors and I'm pretty sure their duty cycle is pretty maxed out right now. And then from there I have O2 dump way down there. So when I really get on the car, I shoot flames through the floor. So it's, it's always fun hearing about it later on. And then from there, I got the spooling up coil packs. Still running stock head, stock block. 
the block hasn't ever been opened up so she's still a virgin block it's kind of nice and stock intake manifold in the back same stock fuel rail everything else is stock up there right now she is pushing 25 psi which is roughly 360 ish horsepower I haven't taken her to the dyno yet so it's just an eyeball figure for now but everything that I read on the forums it's pretty close to that anyway so oh visually also I swapped out the corner LEDs for switch blade or I think they're called switch back or switch blade LEDs so when the car is turned on and I turn on the auxiliary lights these light up white and then when I turn on a turn signal they switch over to amber LEDs and then they start blinking for the, for the turn signal and then once the turn signal is over they switch back to the white LEDs so it's kind of a neat little thing um, I am running yellow fog lights that's I guess standard as far as cars go I guess and I do believe that is it for the front end stuff so in the rear end I have a TRE built rear differential with a 12 plate max lock and upgraded everything on the inside the only thing I didn't take was the cover on the outside um, carbon fiber exhaust cover exhaust shield I guess you can call it and do 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 let's see I'm pretty think pretty sure that's it tints but every car has tints especially down here in South Florida oh and since I am in South Florida I am running the AC because I am not going to be driving this car anywhere around here without AC Florida is just too too grimy for that way too grimy for that the exhaust is a Megan racing exhaust it is a cat back so I'm still sitting on the cat and three inch downpipe all the way to the back well to the back and then to the cat from the cat back but that'll be a next that would actually be one of the next upgrades that I'll be doing to the car aside from the speed density and e85 tune should be quite fun once that is set and let's see the top inside interior kept it super minimal i'm not one to have lots of flamboyant things on the inside so what i did is put in the three tanabi gauges in the front Got my air fuel ratio, boost gauge, oil pressure. Um, I went with the same brand just to keep the, the look going. And Pioneer radio, just because Bluetooth, you know, it's Bluetooth. Blocks raising shift knob. It's the really fat heavy one. I think it's like a pound, like it's over a pound, the stupid little ball, which helps with the shifts. It makes them nice and nice and like not snappy but you really don't gotta push that hard for the for the shifts to occur it's kind of, it's actually really nice it's one of my favorite upgrades to be honest that and then i also have solid base shifter bushings from busher and then oh also under the hood i also have the busher uh, bushings on the shifter cables so there's no give at all really when you're shifting which is really really nice and then from there it's pretty stock um I have my security stuff. I have a few options running right now. So it's not just the alarm. Pro tip, don't stick to just using the alarm. There's many other things you can do. And out back, sweaters because sometimes people need them. And Domo because he rides shotgun with me every single time. It's my boy. And yeah, that's about it actually. As you can see, she's originally Apex over. I wrapped her, I wrapped the Evo myself. Didn't do a bad job either, so I'm kind of glad with that. Um, I might either do a refresh on the front because the highway has not been nice to the vinyl wrap at all, especially with the South Florida highways. That's bad. There's rocks and everything all over the place. Uh, still on the stock intercooler, but all the piping has been upgraded. Yeah, that's about it, really. I might change the color on the car, or I just might refresh it, mix up the accents differently on the front. But for the most part, there she is in all her glory. And that's it for the walkthrough of the Evo. 
So if you're not following me on social media, I'll link up with the links again somewhere in the video and in the description. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. It'll really help me as far as gauging what type of content I can provide you guys on the channel. And I guess all that's left is cue music and cinematic.